Live from Orlando, Florida, extracting the signal from the noise, it's theCUBE, covering Enterprise Connect 2016. Brought to you by Oracle ZDLRA, Vonage, and Cafe X. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Jim Burton. Hello and welcome to theCUBE. We are here at Enterprise Connect. This is theCUBE on the ground, and we would not be here. Our sponsors are Oracle ZLRA Appliance, Cafe X, and Vonage. Thanks for the support. We're on the ground. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE theCUBE, and my co host, Jim Burton with BC Strategies, is here with Wes Durow, with the CMO of Mitel. Welcome to theCUBE. Hey, it's great to be here this morning. Thank you. Uh, Jim and I have been talking last night we're about this, the shift in uh, unified communications. Collaborations now is the sector. It's all about taking the mashup of all these technologies and creating a consumer experience that the consumers want, not just at work, but at, at home too. Do you see it the same way and what's your take on this overall area? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I think we've talked for the last 10 years about uh, unified communications, and the reality is we haven't unified it. it. You know, we've got to make it a seamless experience. And as you think about millennials coming in, they just want to hit a plus button to add somebody to the phone. It's got to be that native, that seamless. And it's got to be a mixed, blended environment. And so how do we make that work together uh, in a way that's uniform and effective? Cloud and the transition to mobile are really going to drive that transition. Well, Wes, I have a question for you. You guys have been in the cloud space for a long time, and, and I don't think people fully understand and appreciate that. So I'd really like to get your take on where you are in the cloud, let people really understand the market sure. share you've got, and then you're also pivoting into mobile in a really sure. big way, and so maybe you can kind of touch on both of those. Bo both good questions. We've been in cloud for over five years now, so we've got more than two million cloud users. Uh, last quarter we grew 44% at another 200,000 users. So really fast transition. It's not just public cloud environments, but hybrid cloud and private cloud environments. And what we look forward to next is really this transition to the mobile cloud. You know, the first device that somebody wakes up in the morning and looks at is their smartphone. It's the last device they look at at the end of the day. That, you know, for most businesses, that experience is not tied to what happens in their desktop environment. And there's a way to do that, and we're doing that in the labs of the big carriers, the big device manufacturers, and starting to port that over to what we do from an enterprise perspective. And we think that's really a pretty big transition. The move to 4G is the first transition point to IP, so it can really natively talk back to an enterprise network. 5G is just more speed. It's 377 times faster than 4G, so all the notion of being able to really do rich collaborative communications are wiped out, it's now simply how do we make that experience intuitive, native, and seamless. Yeah, that, that's that's really good stuff. And you know, we, we've been talking about how mobility is the killer app and unified communications, and it hasn't really taken off that way. But you've actually made a big acquisition to get into this space to, to, to further you along. In fact, what's really interesting about it, a lot of the pundits said, well, we don't really get it. You need to set them straight. Well, you know, uh, there's, there's a lot of innings in this game left to be played. Uh, our mobile business last quarter grew 71%. You know, we are in 15 of the top 20 footprints, but again, it's this intersection between what the service providers are doing, what the device manufacturers are doing, and how it plays back in the enterprise. There's a couple other really important developments here. The ability to decouple some of the most important assets that we had from a telephony standpoint, things like skills-based routing, things like uh, call transcription, embed those into application environments. Most customers work in an application environment every day. If you're in healthcare in the US, you work in Epic. If you are in field services, you're going to use something like Service Pro or Field Aware. And so tying that native experience back into those application environments, making it seamless back into contact center environments throughout the entire equation, we've got to flip unified communications kind of on its head. And again, the next wave is all IoT, M to M. 4G, 5G really light that up, and it's not just machine to machine, it's machine to person. That's where things really, I think, get exciting and start to take off. You know, Jim and I always talk when this first UC Summit was years ago, you know, that was the beginning of the iPhone revolution. We saw sure. that. It was, it's software on a computer that happens to make telephone calls. Yeah. Software is eating the world, as Mark Andreessen would say. We've talked about that. Talk about that dynamic, because you know, now you're seeing more and more app embedded capabilities to take advantage of also the hardware. Sure. Now the hardware advances are significant, you talk about 5G, Mobile World Congress, all talking about 5G. What is the dynamic? And explain to the folks out there that, that, that notion of, okay, we can move stuff into software, which could be either be standalone or in an app, but it's still the hardware device that the users are touching. Sure. Um, you know, the key is how they work together seamlessly. So um, it's about eliminating those boundaries. And if we do a really good job designing the software in an intuitive, seamless way, 
the device, the form factors are going to change over time. Right now, uh, we try to be relatively agnostic. Whether you're an Android device, iOS device, whether you're a tablet, smartphone, it should seamless, be seamless with your desktop phone environment. As you move with your mobile device into your office, a lot easier to use that 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 speaker phone or your handset cradle than it is to just keep it hanging on to your to your mobile phone. So so there's a strong intersection there. You can't do one without the other. Um, I think the key is how you do that across blended environments, and we spend a lot of time on that. Well, it's been great, Russ. Thanks so much for joining no us. Really appreciate it. A delight. Great. Thanks for to be here. Thanks, thanks for joining thanks. us. This is the Cube on the ground. I'm John Furrier, Jim Burden at BC Strategies, our partner with the Cube here in this awesome transformation of the unified communications and collaboration. We're just going to call it software on the internet these days. That's what it is. Thanks for joining us, Wes. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching.